Delilah Hamlin is getting honest about her health. The daughter of Real Housewives of Beverly Hills Lisa Rinna and actor Harry Hamlin got candid with her Instagram followers Wednesday about her struggles with her autoimmune and chronic illnesses, some of which include Lyme disease, Epstein-Barr virus, encephalitis and pediatric autoimmune neuropsychiatric disorders associated with streptococcal infections. In an Instagram story, the 24-year-old model shared a photo of herself with an IV in her arm, detailing how she has been grappling with her health issues for the last few years and is now ready to share. I haven't really spoken on my health lately and if you're new here you're probably confused but for the past few years I've been struggling with autoimmune, chronic illness issues that I've been silently battling and overcoming, she wrote. It's definitely been tough mentally alongside physically. I've kind of kept quiet because I don't want to be put in a sick role. I've faced a lot, overcome a lot, and I know that I'm going through this for a reason and that reason is to share what I've gone through and what I've learned with you," she said in the story. She also shared a quote from televangelist Joel Osteen. Hamlin concluded her story with a thank you to the Los Angeles Drip IV Therapy for their help. This is not the first time the model and reality star has shared her health concerns. In November 2021, Hamlin revealed she had suffered from an accidental overdose after mixing a prescription medicine called propranolol with Benadryl. She also said she developed a Xanax dependency after a psychiatrist allegedly overprescribed her the antidepressant. He overprescribed me with one medication that one of my friends takes like 10 mg, and he gave me like 20 mg three times a day and then he gave me 3 mg of Xanax a day, she said during an Instagram live at the time. So my body got dependent on Xanax number one, and number two, I overdosed. I didn't mean to at all. I overdosed on this one medication called propranolol. I took Benadryl with it and for some reason, I ended up in the hospital.